We sit all day long and our spine gets so stiff and our back and our shoulders get so stiff. So we're going to loosen all of that up today. It's like really this part that we're going to be working on. Now going to start with a rotation this way. So just want you to feel this part of your back. Do you see how I've eliminated that arch in the back? This is the point that gets so stiff. Like this is where it aches, right? Find your belly button. Imagine a straight line to your back. And this is the point that I want you to like imagine if you push in your belly button, you feel it go through that point in your back. Feel this wave up and down. So it's like if you follow this point, this point is going to go up and in and down and out. It's not like you're just moving your hips and butt and this stays arched. There's no full range of mobility here. So it's not about your hips and your butt. It's about your spine. It's about your spine. So you want, like, imagine your belly button and that point um, opposite your belly button. This is the part that moves. So your whole spine makes this wave. This is tricky. This is surprisingly tricky. If you're not used to spine mobility, yes, arching the back, you feel that compression in that lower back. When you loosen up that lower back, it takes away that compression. Push back. And then come up and it starts going in. And then come forward. So when you come forward, your belly button is forward and this back is in. And then come down and that back starts to loosen up and flatten out. And then push this point back, 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 back. And then up and it starts coming in. And then forward. When you come forward, this point is like this way. And then down and it starts loosening up. And then back. And then up, it starts coming in, forward. Oh, my arm is blocking. I shouldn't be doing it this way. So don't try to do too much with your legs at this point moment. It's really just to feel that range of motion in your spine so you can feel as it comes up, as it goes in, down, out. Not in your hips and butt, but in your spine. Now, the opposite way, opposite way, it comes We'll start also with it back. So before we went up and then it came in. Now we're going to go down and it's going to come in and then forward and then up. It starts loosening up and then back and then down. It starts loosening up and then it goes in and then up. It starts loosening up and then back. And then down, it starts coming in. And then forward, up, starts loosening up. So there's this elliptical circle that it forms as you do this wave. Up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward. All right, how about that? A little bit better? First, we're going to do some static stretches. When the lower back 
is the furthest back. Stretch your hands as forward as they can. So it's like somebody has um, a knot tied to this part in your back. It's like you're in the middle of a tug of war. And the side that's pulling on this side has a knot tied to this point in your back. And they're tugging this way. And the other side's got your hands. And they're tugging forward. So your body will stay um, still because imagine that it's equally weighted tugging forward and backwards. So this side is tugging back and your hands are being tugged forward. So like stretch, 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 stretch. And then we're going to go opposite. So now imagine your hips are coming forward, but your elbows are going back and expand expand your chest. So here, expand your chest as you come back. Um, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. So just go to where you feel like, you know, that's, that's kind of my limit. Um, and just think about feeling it equal. So as much as you go back, you also go forward. That's the important part is finding your maximum and making it equal on two sides. Expand and open that chest. Again, not, but it's like this point in your back, this point in your back. Two more. Expand that chest. Stretch. This next one is a bit more challenging um, because now we're going to like stretch ourselves in the opposite direction up and down. And this is kind of tricky. You want to imagine your body is made up of two triangles. So one triangle, it involves your head and your hips. So imagine you've got this triangle here. You've got another triangle that is your shoulders to your belly button. The shoulders and the belly button move together. The head and the hips move together, but they move in opposite. So there's this stretch both up and down. So you notice how when we did this, there was a stretch forward and backwards that was like opposite of each other. This is also going to be opposite kind of stretch. Your head and hips move together in one direction, your shoulders and belly button move together in the opposite direction. Feel the hips and the head going up, but your shoulders and your belly button are gonna go down and your hands are going to press down. So at this point, the top of your head is as high as it can be. Now we're going to bend our knees down. And when we bend our knees down, now our head and our hips are going to come down. 
but our belly button and our shoulders and our hands are going to go up. So this is this opposite thing where since the shoulder and the hands are coming up, but the head is coming down, you kind of bend the neck in. into this stretch here. So the head and uh, the hips down, belly button and the shoulders up. And then we go opposite again. So imagine the triangle, head, hips, one triangle, shoulders, belly button, another triangle. When the head comes up, the hips come up, the legs are straight, but the shoulders, the hands and the belly button go down, stretch, Bend your knees, come down, hand, shoulder, belly button up, head, hips down. So it's like you press your head and hips down, but your shoulders and hands come up. Now we're going to bring it together into a wave. Straight legs, head up, shoulders down. And then elbows back, expand that chest, belly button forward. And then loosen up the hip down, head down, shoulders up. Lower back goes to the back, hand stretch forward. Head up, straight leg, shoulders down, press down. And without stopping, a little bit tricky, but without stopping going a little bit faster is when you really feel that wave really feel that wave now we're gonna go the other way so instead of this way we're gonna go the other way this is a little bit more challenging. Down, and then the spine goes back, out. And when you go out, the chest opens up. Elbow goes back. So putting our spine through this full circular range of motion, feeling this wave. So here's the important part where you come down and then forward, getting this part. Now add one more static stretch. Imagine again, your body's in a tug of war. One person is trying to pull you from the hip this way. Another person is trying to pull you from the hands the other way. So when you get pulled on your hip, your weight shifts over to that side, but your hands are getting pulled over to the other side. And you want this to be like on the horizontal without twisting. Now, other way, imagine someone's pulling your hip over to the other side let your weight go over to that side but someone else is pulling with the equal amount of force your hands going other way so you stretch and then other way again stretch It's like getting pulled here, pulled here, getting pulled in opposite direction to the two sides. Now we're going to combine this left right stretch with the front back stretch. Your hands are going to go across like a dining table okay so keeping your hands um same level and we're going to think about the diagonal so the hip 
is going to go to diagonal this way while the hands go the opposite diagonal that way and still it's the back you want to think about the back going back not the butt the back going back and the hand stretch and then when you come to the middle then it's just like what we were doing with the forward backwards and then other diagonal and then side to side and then come front to back diagonal again expand that chest don't do too big of a range if you're not used to this start small all right start you can start small you don't have to go full range yet and remember not the butt try to do the back And if you feel like you can do a bigger range, then feel like you're getting stretched by two people to the maximum. It's like the every part of every movement is to their maximum range. That's what's really going to improve the mobility in that spine. Now, We'll go this way. We'll do nice and slow. And remember, you don't need to push yourself, all right? So just putting your spine through a range of motion that it normally doesn't do is good for your spine. You don't have to push yourself. You just want to make sure that you are getting the spine to go through the entire range of motion. We can do it nice and slow. For those of you who can increase the range and have that ability to, then the feeling you want is like someone's stretching you one way, another person stretching you the other way, and that stretch continues throughout the whole range of motion. So you just feel like every part of this motion is at the limit of the range really stretch that out expand that chest push the elbows back let that back go we're not sticking the butt out remember it's the back going this way You know, my head is not moving much. My head is trying to stay as still as it can, isolating the motion entirely in that spine. All right. Why is this important? Like, it's, it's good just for spine health. It's good. But for Taiji, what I do, if you want to be good at Tai Chi, you have to learn how to loosen up um, the spine. So like everything is all about being in this position here. This is how we root. So when we root, the spine is like this. Like how, how do I stay balanced and rooted? How do I, um, you know, do this? How can I move around rooted? and change it's because i can let my spine tuck down here to allow me to move like i'm just around a ball All right so this is super important um for 
tidy movement to generate internal power. So even like this idea of how do you transmit internal power, it's also the energy that comes from the back up the spine. So if your spine is stiff, you're, you won't be able to do any of that. How is everyone's spine feeling? Looser? I hope. I, those of you who tried it out, like hopefully you feel like it's a little bit more limber, um, that you have some more, more mobility, you've got some warmth. Yeah, you didn't realize until I just started moving it, but now it feels very flexible. Yeah, so I, for my Tai Chi students, what I like them to do after they go through the range of these spine exercises is to then do Tai Chi because then they'll notice um, how limiting a stiff spine is to their movement, um, where like just by loosening up that spine, all of a sudden your Tai Chi movements become easier because the spine doesn't like anchor you and prevent you from being able to do things. So it's like just being able to let that loosen up um, will help you with other things too. 